in Shanghai Mansion. Oh, looks like they've got live music there later. Um, this is our hotel. Welcome to Bangkok. We have just arrived and uh, this is my daughter Jasmine, in case you don't know if you're new here. In this video, come with us as we show you around the Shanghai Mansion Hotel in Bangkok. Very reasonable to stay here and it's incredibly eclectic with all of its different oriental little different looks that you've got there. So this is just a quick overview of the main corridor through where you can see all the way down to the fish pond and they sometimes play some of the little geisha music there, which is really cute. There was a library you could take some books from and I love the colour of these walls. How unique is this hotel? It's not like anything that I'm used to seeing. So I'm just taking you on a walk through here. So this is the main reception area. How beautiful is that window? It's gorgeous, isn't it? So there's loads of little seating areas. You can just sit there and chill out if you want to. There was great Wi-Fi in this hotel and very good service. So this is going towards the front of the hotel where we just showed you right at the very beginning of the video there. And then to the left here is the bar area and you can get food and drinks in there. That was what it looked like when it was buzzing and this is it when it's kind of closed and early in the morning not much is happening now we was a group of dancers there and it was lovely to see the live music this was the main area that you could see to the outside world there wasn't a lot of windows inside purposely look at this massive koi carp as well as you walk through everybody has their pictures taken on this little corridor area with the little lights above which is so cute so i'm about to take you upstairs now into a bar area which again looks nothing here but just you wait and see so when it's alive and buzzing absolutely stunning but And here we are back there again so just to show you there's some beautiful seating area such a chill vibe in there but also a bit of a party atmosphere and they seem to love their live music there which was amazing So just leaving this area now, which I think was called the Rose Bar or the Red Rose Bar. And these flowers are beautiful. They're not real ones. They are silk ones, but gorgeous. And then this floor is where there are some rooms that are the more of an upgradey room. Now we had a basic room. I'll show you that in a minute in this video. But look at the architecture you can see on this staircase. Absolutely gorgeous. So I don't really know what the main differences were with the rooms there, but they were all very lovely. I'm just showing you here what you get for breakfast. There was all sorts. There was something there for everybody. There was your typical sort of toast and croissants and things. There was cooked amazing omelettes, which is what I normally go for. Loads of fresh fruit, the typical sweets. We even could, you could even get pad thai for breakfast in the morning, which was pretty insane. And I chose to sit near the window because I did like to see outside and watch the world go by. Now I'm taking you into the toilets just outside the ballroom because I thought they were, the decor was just incredible in there. The lighting was really well thought out and it was just, yeah, just something different, I thought. Um, and I was like, can't not film this, so there we go. And then soon you'll see in a second the food and drinks that we got there. Food was amazing. It was about three times as expensive as out in the street food. But it was really worth it and it was really nice to just sit there. I mean, the decor on these plates is just so stunning. I ate a lot of this rice and meat dish, which was lovely. They did cocktails and mocktails, which is for those who don't aren't a fan of drinking. Um, Those little touches with the violinist coming in there was just so lovely so i ate this meal quite a few times um it cost equivalent to about three pounds and then this was my daughter's meal and 
honestly the food was really good and they did all sorts of crazy things with the cocktails like burning cloves how unique is that a uh, little star anise there in the cocktail uh, or you've got me just drinking my normal diet coke which is all fine it's just all so reasonable reasonably priced out there okay so bringing you back to this floor again where the fish pond is and you've got the lighting and all those different rooms there the upgraded rooms So I've had the most chill day ever in my life. This is me after a nap, so I've had a nap. I felt really, really tired, but we've got lovely aircon in there, so that's really amazing. So now it's time to have a look at the room where we stayed. Um, towels and everything was provided. There was a safe in the room as well, all free of charge. The bed was so comfortable. There was a TV, but I didn't ever put that on. There were some little teas and coffees and things there that you could have. Hair dryer in the room, tissues. Look at this decor, right? Insane. Now, all of the windows, you couldn't see out of them. They were like stained glass, which was okay. Strangely, little area there to wash in the bedroom. And then the bathroom was separate with the shower. With lovely shower. So I'm probably going to end this vlog now and then you can come along and see what else we get up to while we are here. Um, <laughs> wow, um, I don't know what I was expecting but this is kind of exactly what I was expecting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching this far and come back for the next video. I will see you really soon. So if I just show you this, you'll see kind of how the chaos is around. It's just as you'd completely imagine it to be. Is it literally, isn't it? In the next video, come with us as we stay at the Dusset Princess Hotel in Phu Quoc in Vietnam. You're going to absolutely love that next hotel, so make sure you've subscribed.